In this video we want to derive polar equations of conic sections and in this section we, le we let off with a theorem that says the following. A conic section can be described by the equation the distance between any point on the conic section and the focus divided by the distance between any point on the conic section and the directrix is this ratio is constant and this is given by <coughs> a constant E called the eccentricity. We can use this idea to try to just rearrange and solve an equation here. So we have D of PF, the distance between the point on the conic section and the focus is equal to E times the distance between the point and the directrix. Okay, now our conic section, we don't, we don't necessarily know which one, but all the conic sections have the same general shape between the directrix and the focus if we stay pretty close to, to the focus. And so they all kind of look like this. So in this, remember for this example, we want to, we are assuming that our focus is at the pole or the origin and that our directrix has line, or the line of the directrix has the equation x equals d. So it's a vertical directrix. And our goal here is to try to write a polar equation for this conic section. So our goal is to get a polar function, r equals r of theta, um, that tells us where every point on this conic section is in polar coordinates. Okay, so let's just pick a typical point in the conic section. Let's stay in quadrant one here. So by the way, this vertical line right here, this one that goes through f, that is the what would be the y-axis, although we're in polar coordinates, but that would be the y-axis. And this vertical line labeled L, that's the directrix of the conic section. Again, let's say here's our point P, and we want this P to be in polar coordinates, so its coordinates are R theta. And what we want to do is we want to represent uh, the conic section, find a formula for the conic section for to find R in terms of theta. Okay, so the first step is to connect the conic, the point P on the conic section to the focus. So there's one, one line. And then the other line is we want to connect the conic section, the point in the conic section to the directrix. And we do so in such a way um, that this forms a right angle. So this is going to be, this horizontal line here is going to be the shortest line between the point that lies on the conic section and the directrix. And obviously the length of this segment is D of PF, distance between P and F. And the length of this segment is D PL. Now because we're in polar coordinates, the distance of between P and F, that's just the radius. That's just the R coordinate. Okay, so just because we're in polar coordinates, we can write this down. D of PF, that's just equal to R. And to find the distance between the point on the conic section and the directrix L, we want to use a little bit of trig here. So we can project this point down. And remember the angle of this point P is this angle. All right, and we notice that this side on the base of this triangle that I've just drawn, this is the, the length of this side is R times cosine of theta. And if we go back up to our point here, if we were to extend that horizontal line that we drew that found the, the distance between the directrix and the point, if we were to extend that out, that entire distance there, that would be the, the length, the distance from the y-axis to the directrix, and we are told that that is just d. Okay, so this distance is d. And so what we find here then is that the distance between the point and the directrix is equal to d, the length all the way to the directrix, take away the length from the point here in polar coordinates, so the r cosine theta. Okay, so these are our two equations for the distance from the point to the focus and to the directrix. Now we need to get the eccentricity in the mix. We need to multiply the second equation by e, and then we'll try to solve the whole thing for r. I think we should probably have some more paper for this, so I'll turn the page, and then I'll remember, hopefully, to write down everything correctly. But again, our goal here is that we have df, dpf, the distance between the point and the focus, is equal to e times the distance between the point and the directrix. We found that the distance between the point and the focus in polar coordinates with the focus at the pole is just r. 
and the distance between the point and the directrix is d, the equation of the, dire the dir directrix, minus r times cosine of theta. And now our job is just to put all this together and solve for r. So when we put all this together, we end up with this equation, that r equals e times d. I have to multiply the entire uh, distance between p and l by e. So e times d minus e r cosine of theta. We want to group the r so that we can factor an r out. So this becomes r plus e times r times cosine of theta equals e times d. Like I said, we factor, the goal here is to factor the r out. And we're left with 1 plus e cosine of theta. On the other side, we have e times d. And then we just divide through, and this is going to be our formula for the conic section. Uh, r of theta is equal to e times d over 1 plus e times cosine of theta. So this is the general formula for any conic section for e equal to 1, greater than 1, less than 1. Um, for, so for any eccentricity, um, this is the formula for the conic section whose directrix is x equals d for a positive d, so positive directrix. Um, in the next exercise, you're going to work out a formula for a horizontal directrix, but I'll just say here that if you switch to x equals minus d, and we'll make this a recommended exercise from within the video, but if you change the directrix to x equals minus d, where d is still positive, so now this is a negative directrix, then the result, and this is where the work is done, so work this out. It should be a, a straightforward, uh, straightforward exercise that just copies the work that we just did for this example. But this equation for the conic section is r equals e times d over 1 minus e times cosine of theta. Okay, so the answer to our question that we were asked for this example is this. This is what happens if you switch the sign of the directrix and make it in, in the uh, left-hand side of the plane.